I think it's super disrespectful. Like, I don't like any of them guys that live in the gray. They're disrespecting the sport I love. Hey, partner, don't you disrespect the sport I love. I'll see you at noon. Does cheating happen in bass terms? Absolutely, to some extent. Now, don't you think that is a problem? The problem is that cheaters don't feel the wrath. Get up! But I think that most of the cheating that happens is almost unpoliceable, and it's not happening during the day of the tournament. Information being exchanged prior to the tournament. And it's really hard to police that. Obviously, if you didn't hook up your kill switch and you, uh, you know, drove to a spot, like, I have no problem with that. No that's not cheating. Advantage. Yeah, well, that, that's, that's a rules, rules violation. Rules violations cheating? Rules violations cheating which one do you think is worse is that a serious question but i think the most of the cheating that happens is almost unpoliceable and it's not happening during the day of the tournament oh. and it's it's with information being exchanged prior to the tournament uh-oh uh, uh-oh not the exchange of information that sounds familiar like if you get a bunch of waypoints from a local I think you should never fish Bassmasters again. Oh, ever, forever, ever, forever, ever, ever, forever, ever, ever. But is he wrong? What do you think? Um, yeah, I think if guys were eighty sixth or maybe suspended for a year, eighty sixth. What is that? According to the online Merriam-Webster dictionary, to get rid of or throw out. That does not sound fun. I mean, if they, some of them can't because they got, you know, their old poster child's doing it. Uh -oh. um, Tell them. So, you know, it's kind of like the old, man, I don't know how, how much I can say here, but, Tell you us. know, there used to be a guy that fished the FLW tour who, was, who Bill Taylor had his back pretty well and could do anything he wants. And, uh, you know, he took full advantage of that. Who is he talking about? You got a couple guys that are, you know, will blatantly break rules out of whatever it may be desperation or ego or or whatever it is and then you know you got some guys that kind of just look for gray area it should be more black and white and, and you, you know what the intention of the rule is those guys that look for the gray area they know the meaning behind the rule and then they just try to look for it being worded differently so then they then they can break the rule when someone is fishing at that higher level do they really know the intention of that rule we all know of a recent issue that occurred that was kind of pushing the envelope <laughs> some form of serious punishment serious punishment what do you mean you only got one hand left you better not steal nothing <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness are we chopping off hands now i i mean i think that's proven worldwide i mean we're places where people chop, chop their hands off for, for stealing yeah they don't exactly. steal very much <laughs> i think we can all agree that if you're getting hands chopped off there would be a lot less cheating in fishing I think it's super disrespectful. Like, I don't like any of them guys that live in the gray. They're disrespecting the sport I love. Hey, partner, don't you disrespect the sport I love. I'll see you at noon. Like with the other organization, like, they don't even want to tell you anybody cheated. I mean, they got stuff going on over there and dudes getting punished for it, but they won't tell you about it because they don't want a press release about it. Like, why? You know what I mean? It's like the, with the Jeff Sprague thing with the in the info and stuff. And, like, I don't even have as big a problem with that as I do him snagging them off a of bed. But uh. Snagging fish off of a bed? That cannot be a good thing. Would you like to see all violations of any sort publicized now that might not be a bad idea what do you think if there was a way to track all violations you click on that person's name and it shows kind of a rap sheet of all of their violations and they know that that is going to follow them for their entire career hmm 
do you think that might make a difference? You're not wrong in a lot of situations. <laughs> make sure you get active in the comments. I want to see what you guys have to say. And if you want to see more about this or more videos similar to this one, make sure you click one of these links so you can continue watching. I appreciate you supporting the channel.